everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video and in our subsequent videos, we'll be discussing various numericals of mathematical economics. So, so we have this question. But before solving this question, let's understand few basic concepts. First, total utility. What is total utility? Total utility is sum of total satisfaction that a consumer gets from consuming all units of a commodity. Let's understand total utility with help of an example. Now, let's say a consumer consumes three units of apple. Now, the first apple, let's say, gives him 10 utils of satisfaction. Second apple gives him, let's say, eight utils of satisfaction. And third apple gives him, let's say, five utils of satisfaction. So, the total utility of three apples is Total utility in this case is equal to 10 utils plus 8 utils plus 5 utils. So 10 plus 8 plus 5. And this is nothing but 10 plus 8, 18, 18 plus 5, 23 utils. Next, what is marginal utility? Marginal utility is addition to total utility because of consumption of additional unit of a commodity. Let's also understand marginal utility with help of an example. Let's say 10 units of commodity gives a consumer 210 utils of satisfaction. Now, 11 units gives him Let's say 200 utils of satisfaction. Now, when we need to find additional utility because of consumption of 11th unit, here comes the concept of marginal utility. So, marginal utility because of consumption of 11th unit is nothing but 210 minus 200. So, this becomes equal to 10. So, marginal utility in this case is equal to 10. So, what have we derived from this equation? We have seen that marginal utility of 11th unit is equal to total utility of 11 units minus total utility of 10 units. Or, we can also generalize this equation. Marginal utility of n units is equal to total utility of n units minus total utility of n minus 1 units. So, this becomes our relationship between marginal utility and total utility. But, we also have other equation. Now, what is marginal utility? Marginal utility is nothing but change in total utility divided by change in quantity consumed. So basically, a marginal utility is nothing but du by dx. Now, we have third and last concept, that is law of equimarginal utility or Gossen's second law. So, Gossen's second law or law of equimarginal utility.
so the condition so this gives us a condition for consumer equilibrium in case of let's say two commodities so a condition for consumer equilibrium is marginal utility of a upon price of a this is equal to marginal utility of b upon price of b where a and b are our two commodities and this gives us a condition for consumer equilibrium when is a consumer set to be in equilibrium a consumer is in equilibrium when he gets maximum satisfaction with his limited income now coming on to question let's take a very simple example to understand the concept of marginal utility and total utility now we need to compute marginal utility and our total utility function is given as u is equal to 9x cube minus 7x square minus 3x plus 3 now we have already studied that marginal utility is nothing but du by d x so in this case we have utility as total utility as 9x cube minus 7x square minus 3x plus 3 so marginal utility in this case is equal to du by dx which is equal to now we know that differentiation of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1 this is a very important formula so using this formula we'll be calculating a marginal utility so 9 in this case is constant now we'll differentiate x cube with respect to x minus 7 is constant differentiation of x square minus 3 differentiation of x plus 3 differentiation of 1 so now our marginal utility becomes equal to now in this case we have x cube so using this formula we'll differentiate x cube with respect to x so Let's say n is equal to three. We have n is equal to three in this case. Then what happens is differentiation of x cube is nothing but three x raised to three minus one, which is equal to three x square. So differentiation of x cube is three x square. Minus seven differentiation of x square. Similarly, we'll calculate a uh, derivative of x square. But in this case, n is equal to two. This is equal to two x raised to. 2 minus 1 which is equal to 2 x raised to 1 simply we can say that it is equal to 2 x so derivative of x square is 2 x minus 3 now differentiation of x now here we can take n is equal to 1 let's see so 
derivative of x raised to 1 is nothing but 1 x raised to 1 minus 1 that is equal to x raised to 0 but x raised to 0 is nothing but 1 so a derivative of x is nothing but 1 plus 3 into now derivative of a constant term is always 0 so derivative of constant term 1 is 0 so marginal utility in this case is equal to 9 threes are 27x square minus 7 twos are 14x minus 3 ones are 3 this becomes marginal utility so this becomes our equation for marginal utility that's it for this video in our next video we'll be discussing another numerical based on concepts of total utility marginal utility and gaussian second law which we have discussed in this class so do like and subscribe our channel thank you